Ooh. Ugh. Welcome back to reality. Wow. inspires generosity? What makes people want to give their time or effort or money to strangers? You might think we're only in it because we expect something in return, that your generosity will be reciprocated. But in truth, all sorts of internal factors put us in a giving mood. Things like feeling empathy for who we're giving to, or that elevated feeling we get when we watch others be generous, or sometimes just a reminder that we're tiny humans on a big rock hurtling through space helps us be a little kinder to each other. The sense of the small self, that we are a part of something much bigger than ourselves, has been associated with experiences of awe. And studies have shown that by cultivating a sense of awe, we can cultivate generosity. So let's see if the science holds up. Emily, welcome. Do you have any idea what we're doing here today? Don't have the slightest clue. That's perfect. We brought in a group of participants to try one of two activities. Have you ever done anything in virtual reality? No. Are you curious about it? I'm kind of scared. Uh, oh. If it gets a little okay. too intense, let us know, but I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Great. Yeah. That's terrific. Let's do it. Okay. One group got to experience something very few human beings ever have. They went on a tour of the planet. <laughs> oh, holy cool. This is so cool. <laughs> looks very real. I feel like I'm... <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. What? Feels like a dream. Wow. This is amazing. Welcome back to reality. Wow. I'm, I'm almost speechless, really. Kind of got lost in the moment. I did. It was pretty awesome. I felt like I was actually in, in the water. What emotions did you feel? Like, just awe. It's like a heart feeling. <laughs> like, it makes me want to see more, and it's just exciting and exhilarating. It makes you realize how small you are in the scheme of things, you know? Kind of puts you into perspective reminds me that I'm not alone in this world. I felt like I was at peace, you know, knowing that you're a small speck in something huge. And it puts a lot of things into perspective. For our control group, though, they had to do something a little more mundane. Don't see anything yet. It's my own space, empty space. Yep, they had to stand in a literal empty gray room. It's still in VR, but it's not exactly awe-inspiring. Still like the, just the empty white dome. This is this a dome? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to reality. Happy to be back. <laughs> Really, what, how was the virtual world? Didn't really do much for me. I'm not a big uh, stand in a empty place type of guy. Once participants went through their respective experiences, we had them make us a pie. Oh, a pie chart? Dang it, I misread that. So this circle represents your year ahead of you, all the time you have. But we want you to divide this up into these five categories. You have your family, you have career, helping others, yourself, and travel. For our purposes, family and helping others are the two categories we're most interested in. They represent giving time and energy, while the other categories are more self-focused. It was just a matter of busting out the old protractor to figure out how much time they wanted to allocate to giving to others. Participants who spent time in our endless gray purgatory said they wanted to dedicate 41% of their year to helping others. I'm career-oriented right mm, now. I, I'm, you know, I I'm see a, that. Yeah. When I looked at it, I thought it was a bit sort of selfish, you know? So little time was allocated to helping other people. But when they experienced something that evoked a sense of awe, they were more giving with their time and felt they wanted to donate 
52% of it to their family or others. When you help others, it comes back to you twofold or threefold. As long as I don't put myself first and I help others, it, you know, it's just a great feeling and overall a better way to live life. So, was it awe that inspired the difference? I felt enlightened by how vast everything is. We're used to kind of living mundane lives, but then you have an experience like this and you're like, there's so much more than just where I am right now. Most people are just going through life, you know, on their phones, just caught up in what's happening right there. They're not looking up. It made me feel like I'm small, but I matter. It does humble you a little bit to be a little bit more generous. It makes you really think about, oh, maybe I can actually help someone else out. Awe is a profound feeling, and it moves us to consider the world and our place in it. When we feel that sense of wonder and inspiration, we often remember that we're all just tiny creatures on a great big planet. That sense of awe drives us to feel more inclined to help others with our time and effort. And the good news is that you don't have to look far for inspiration. All you need is a forest of tall trees or a starry night sky. When the world fills you with a sense of awe, you are inspired to make the world a more awesome place. Cake.